Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about some camera parameters and camera settings in OpenCV. So if you want to do some specific settings with your camera in OpenCV, we can actually like open up the camera settings with OpenCV. We can go in and specify and adjust all the camera parameters, the brightness, uh, the hue, like different kind of like color channels. We can specify white balance and, and all those different kind of things. So it's really useful if you're creating computer vision applications in OpenCV that you can go in, specify the camera parameters for your specific environment. So this is really nice. I'm going to cover how we can actually like do it here in this video. So we're going to jump straight into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you how we can open up um, the video capture and our webcam settings. Then we can actually like play around with them, fine tune them. We can play around with the different kind of like, like coil channels and the white balance and all those different kind of things. So basically here, we just jumped into it. We have this sample code where we're opening up our video capture. We set the frame width and frame height of our camera. So this is the resolution of our camera. We just have a while loop running through. Uh, as long as our webcam is open, we're reading in frames and then we just display the frames. But we can also go up here and set cap dot um, and then we can basically just go in, set the video capture to equal to one. So this will be cap set and then we have cv2 dot cap underscore prop uh, prop settings. So this is the settings of our cameras and we just specify that to uh, one. So we'll basically just open up the camera settings that we have. Then we're gonna have these sliders that where we can actually like just slide it and tune the, the settings of our camera. So this is everything we need. We basically just run the program and then we can fine tune our camera so that you will actually like do this for your camera applications. Um, if you're going to create an actual like project and so on, then you would actually like go in here and just Play around with these parameters until you get a perfect setup for your camera in your environment. Because you can have different kind of like environments depending on the lighting condition. Um, if you're working in like a, a dark environment, light environment, um, a, a colored environment and in some way, you can play around with the white balance. You can also have auto white balance. Um, you can play around with the sharpness of your camera if you want to get like sharper edges in your camera as well. If you're doing some edge detection and all those different kind of things. So it's actually like really, um, it's actually like really useful to know about these camera properties and that you can actually like tune them here with these sliders in OpenCV. But basically just we just have these sliders, we can have the brightness, we can play around with the brightness here. We can space we have both have the sliders, but we also have the values over here to the right. We can go back to the defaults, but when you actually like find these values, you can go in and specify them after that. Um, inside of OpenCV, we can basically just call the different kind of like flags that we have. You have all these flags, so when you find the correct uh, values, you can basically just go in here, call cap.set, and then we specify cv2.cap underscore prop underscore contrast, and then we just specify the value that we found from fine tuning it here um, inside um, our camera properties. We also have some contrast here. You can play around with it, see how it affects your applications. So right now, in, I'm in a kind of like light environment. I have a lot of like natural like daylight in my face. So we can actually like play around. So if we shouldn't probably like set up the brightness even more, we can actually like lower it depending on what do we actually like want to detect. So if we want to have like some kind of like person detector, it will probably make sense to lower the brightness here a bit. So uh, my face actually like has a bit more texture compared to just have like a light Face. So this would actually be pretty hard for a model to detect that this is a face because it's just too white. We can also play around with the contrast so we can get a bit more contrast. Uh, we can play around with the hue channel as well. We also have saturation. So this is the color channel, the saturation color that we're that we are playing with. So we can actually like get better color as well. So if you're going to do some color detection and all those different kind of things, we can just like increase the saturation of our camera as well. We can also have the sharpness. So here we see we have a really sharp image. This can be useful for like edge detection um, examples. So you can see my shoulders here, uh, like all the details of the edges here is a lot sharper compared to if we like lower this value here. Uh, I'm just going to like do this lighter here on off. So you can just see that here, it is just really like blurry around the edges. So an edge detector might have like, um, a slightly harder time finding the actual edges compared to if you increase the sharpness um, in your camera settings. We can also play around with gamma values, again, depending on the environment that you're in. So here we can see that 
we can actually like get some really nice um, nice detections or we can fine tune our camera for specific applications. So again, if we don't care about like anything else compared to like what is actually like lit up by some more light, we can play around with the gamma value. Uh, we can also have like auto white balance. We can also play around with it manually. So the white balance of our camera, I usually just do like auto white balance unless we have like several cameras working together, then you might actually want to, to tune the white balance um, as well. We can also have some bit, uh, backlit uh, compensation. Uh, so here we see, we can just see how, how these parameters actually like affect our camera. And you should go in and actually like tune these parameters based on your applications, based on your light conditions, what you actually like want to do in our computer vision and OpenCV applications. If it's optic detection, um, edge detection, all those different things like the camera parameters actually like depends a lot on your application but it also affects your applications a lot so it's really important that you know of how can act like tune the camera properties like if you're just learning out some basic techniques if you're just playing around with OpenCV it doesn't really matter that much but when you're going to create some act like OpenCV and computer vision applications this is really useful so here I'm just going to hit apply okay and then we can actually see that it just keeps these settings when it's loading in new images. Now we can see that I actually like have a way better image compared to like when we were just using the default ones. Again, when you have found the exact parameters, you can just go in and set them here as I just showed you. So we will just have cap.set cv2.cap and then what it was properties uh, underscore like hue for example and then we can just specify it like the value here for our hue channel uh, and then you'll basically just do that for all the parameters that you have and then you're saving the parameters from time to time when you're actually like, running the program and then we can just comment out this line so this is actually like, how you do it this is really useful to know of that is why i created this video uh, because it's really helpful when you're creating your own computer vision and uh, opencv applications so thank you guys for watching this video here and again remember the subscribe button and bell notification on the video. Also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future. It really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So I'm doing this computer vision tutorial where we go over like all the basic image processing, also more advanced image processing techniques, S detection, optic detection, stereo vision, how we can use two cameras to get depth information in our image, do some distance calculations and all those different kind of things. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here. Or else, I'll just see you next video, guys. Bye for now.